Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How y'all doing? Well, today is Saturday. It's March the 12th, and today marks the end of part two of my weight loss journey. However, you know I have long ways to go, but this is the end of the second half of my weight loss journey because when I started this part two, I was at 259 pounds. So along this journey, I have really been studying about weight and my own, I'm, I've been really just learning about myself and my body and just really reading my own body because you know, everybody is different and every, you know, so many fad diets and everything out there and I mean, I probably have tried all of them and I have found that those diets, they don't work permanently. It's like... You can do it for a while and you can lose weight, but you're not gonna stick to that. So that's why I had to decide for myself how I was gonna lose weight. And the best way for me to lose weight was to eat foods that I'm gonna continue to eat for the rest of my life, but to learn to eat it in moderation. So what I've been mainly doing is eating meat and vegetables. I have not been having any bad carbs. The biggest carb that I've had it's probably a sweet potato, and that's a good car. And a sweet potato is really very filling. So if you've watched me along my journey, you notice I eat quite a few sweet potatoes throughout the week. And that's because it really is filling and it helps me along the way. And plus, if you get like a sweet craving, that sweet potato, it really helps you out because it has uh, natural sugar in it. But uh, with that sweet potato, I could eat that, you know, even every day and I'll constantly lose weight. But I eat pork, I eat seafood, I eat beef, I eat chicken, turkey. I eat pretty much any kind of meat that I desire, even chitlins, barbecue ribs. But I've learned, I'm learning rather, to eat it in moderation. But one thing that uh, I still have a problem with is white rice. So I have not had any white rice or bread in part two uh, of my weight loss journey. If I had any bread at all, it was in the beginning, probably a part two, I probably had keto bread. But that may have been back in part uh, one because this time I was trying not to have any bad starches or carbs at all. I'm not really on a keto diet, but I, I'm probably using some of keto methods because what I have started doing and I was really focusing on it really during this part two of my journey, it's not just waking up every morning and thinking, oh wow, it's breakfast time. I've been really training myself to listen to my body and to eat when I'm hungry. And I've found that I'm not hungry sometimes until between like maybe 12 and maybe three, four o'clock in the evening. But normally it'll hit between 12 and two. But sometimes it would go farther than that. But you know, we're so programmed to think that um, we're supposed to eat three meals a day and we really don't have to have three meals a day. Because you know, our bodies, we need to listen to it to really know when we feel hungry. Because you know, I don't really think that I knew as a young woman, really when I was hungry. When I was weighing 372 pounds, I didn't know when I was hungry. I was 372 plus. That's the last time I got on a scale was at 372, the highest. But I mean, I just wanted to eat because I mean, I had to explain even to my family that it's a real problem. It's like, an, it's, a, it's an addiction. And the starches, especially the white rice, it's more of an addiction with that than anything. I'm not addicted to all starches, but white rice, it is one of my worst addictions, this white rice. So I have to really be skeptical about uh, playing with rice. But um, I know a lot of people, they want to lose weight, but they feel that they can't do it. But if I can do it, trust and believe, you can do it too. I mean, if you've been following me along my journey, you see what I be eating. I mean, I was eating chitlins, barbecue ribs. I eat pork chops, chitlins, whatever. I want to eat, I eat it. Because I found when I deprive myself of something that I really want, I'll binge. And I'm not a really big sweet eater, but occasionally I do uh, crave for sweets. But when I really crave for sweets, I mean, some people don't like cottage cheese, but I do. So sometimes I get cottage cheese and put uh, 
like crushed pineapples in its own juice. And I use maybe a uh, artificial sweetener and put a few walnuts over that and some raisins. And I mean, it, it really satisfies that sweet too. And if you don't like the cottage cheese, just omit the cottage cheese. And some people said that, um, like I've said in a previous video, they worry about the artificial sweeteners. I mean, the artificial sweeteners can't be no worse than weighing 372 pounds, okay? So, I mean, it's like six in one hand and half a dozen in the other. So, I'm going to use the artificial sweetener because that's, if the artificial sweetener kill me, for the fat sugar, it will kill me too. So, I'm going to just have to weigh it out and make those decisions for myself. Everyone has to decide for themselves what they're going to do. But I'm going to show you what my weight is now. And I tell you, at 63 years old, getting this weight off, baby, it is hard. It's like I'm chipping away at stone. It's like this weight is bonded so tight and got such a grip on me. Because the way that I've been eating mainly fruits, not fruits, hardly any fruits, mainly vegetables and meat. If I was a younger woman, honey, I know surely by now I would be under 200 pounds. But I mean, I'm still grateful because according to the Mayo Clinic, one to two pounds per week is a good amount of weight to lose. So if you can lose anything more than that, it's really good. But sometimes it's not, you know, really good that I found to lose weight so fast because you can gain it back just as fast. Because I think about this weight that I've gained lately, it was mostly during, I started gaining some before the pandemic, but most of it was gained during the past two years. So it's going to take time to get it off. So hopefully by the end of summer or the beginning of fall, perhaps I'll be through with my journeys because I'm just, uh, what, two down at this point. I've been going since November the 15th. And my starting weight at November the uh, 15th, what I had here on um, YouTube was 274 pounds because that's how much I was weighing when I left the doctor's office for his paperwork. But really when I started the program with myself, I was 276 pounds. So my official weight when I started my journey on YouTube was 276 whole pounds. And baby, that 276 was not playing with me. It's like along this journey, my weight has gone up and down. I mean, I have not cheated. <laughs> this is the first time since I've been posting my weight on YouTube. I don't cheat at all. I do no cheating. I eat only what I'm supposed to eat. And some mornings I would wake up. The scales will be up two pounds. So, you know, that could be really disheartening for someone when they really know that they're doing all that they can do, but the scale sometimes will jump up. I'm going to show you um, my weight because I logged my weight. You know, some people said don't weigh every day. Oh, yeah, I'm going to weigh every day. Every day I'm going to weigh. I might weigh two times a day because um, I need to know what I'm doing. Because if I'm not doing good, that means I need to regroup and maybe try something else. So I'm going to show you now what my weight has been doing for the past two months. Okay? Okay, so here you see, I started right here part two. I started my weight loss journey. And at that point, I was 259 pounds. And that was on January the 10th. And you can see here from 259, I went up to 261. You see, I was going up and down, up and down. It's like I've been on a roller coaster. I'm showing you this so you don't be discouraged because sometimes your weight will fluctuate back and forth. But you have to uh, just continue to you know, push forward because if you keep doing the right thing, you're gonna lose the weight now this is the flip side you see that weight each day i logged my weight and it was going up and down and up and down the whole time so 
So now that's from January the 10th. And this right here is all the way to February the 22nd. So that's front and back from January 10th to February the, the uh, 22nd. Now over here, you see here from February the 23rd what my weight was. Every day I log my weight. And you see how it's bouncing around. It was the hardest thing in the world for me to get this weight going. Now I have this side covered up because we're going to get to that. So, you see that's my, my um, record of my weight loss. So I'm showing you that. So anyone that's discouraged, don't be discouraged. That weight did not come on you overnight. So it's going to take time really to get it off. But if you continue to do it, you will get it off. But even someone that just go on meat and vegetables, you're gonna lose weight. If you're used to eating a lot of carbs and drinking sodas and all of that, and you just go on meat and vegetables, you're gonna lose that weight. And you can probably eat enough to satisfy yourself. I wouldn't just be a glutton and go overboard with the eating, but surely you could eat enough to satisfy yourself and lose weight. Now what I have started doing, I was eating at the beginning, I think I was eating three meals a day back in November, but they were, you know, light meals, maybe one big meal, but I have gotten it down to where I was eating just two meals. I don't eat no more than two meals a day at this point, but some days I only eat one meal a day because I feel myself and I try to figure out, am I really hungry? And if I'm not hungry, I don't eat. Carrying all that weight make you think you're sick because you be in so much pain. I'm in pain now too sometimes, but it's from the damage that I've already done to my body. You have to really learn to love yourself and really want to do better for yourself. I tell you, if you have not tried losing weight, the feeling, the satisfaction of losing the weight and following through every day and completing the day, that feeling is amazing. Stay focused when you're trying to lose weight. And when you're trying to lose weight, nobody want to invite you, give you nothing to eat until you start your journey. When you start your journey, everybody want to invite you to eat. They want to give you something good to eat. But baby, you have to love yourself. Because sometimes those same overweight people, they want you to stay overweight with them because you know misery love company. So I'm going to show you my weight, what I am today, March 12th, 2022. Before I show you my weight for the day, I want to let you know, today is March 12th, 2022. This is the, this is the end of part two of my weight loss journey. Normally, I take off for a couple of days, just maybe to eat a little something different that I have not been eating along my journey, but not to the extreme. Now during this time, I know I will put on a couple of pounds, but that's okay because it's better than continuing to put on pounds months after month. Because um, today is March 12th, so my next journey is going to start on Tuesday, March the 15th. So March the 15th, Tuesday, I'll post what I'm doing and that I'm starting my new journey. And that journey, part three of my weight loss journey, will go until, let me see, it's gonna go into May the 13th or either May the 20th. Because I normally take my journey 60 to 64 days because I wanted to land on a Saturday at the end. So it, it usually be between 60, 64 days. So it probably would go between the 13th and the 20th. But when I start my journey on Tuesday, I will let you know for sure when my journey will start and when it will end, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my weight on the scale, all right? These are pictures from part two from the start of the weight loss journey that started January the 10th. This 
is the end of part two of my weight loss journey. All of these pictures. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a recording of what my weight uh, was at the start of part two of my weight loss journey. Because the first part started November 15th, and then the second part of my weight loss journey, after going for two months, it started January the 10th, I believe. So what I'm gonna show you is a previously uh, recorded video of what I was weighing at that time and what I'm weighing now. Hey, but that's my weight for January the 10th. So today's weight from January the 10th is 243.2. I've dropped 16 pounds. I'll be back Tuesday with the start of part three of my journey.